And I'm so excited to be sharing this day with especially my American friends. I know that you are seeing this on the 21st of January, but I am recording it on the 20th of January. And I woke up at like 7.30 this morning to start watching all of the inauguration stuff because I am so excited for you all that you're getting a new president today. And I just, I'm celebrating this day with you. And I teared up just a second ago because it's just before 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, they just put up President Obama's um, tweet to President Biden this morning. And I'm just, I don't know, it just made me get all choked up. So there we go. I'm starting the day full of joy and hope for my American viewers and everyone in America. Okay, so today I have a fabulous haul to show you from FG Normal. And there's something else to celebrate, and that is that FG Normal has assigned my viewers a discount code. So I'm going to flash it up on the screen right now. If I could, I'd put it in flashing lights, but it is Rose 10 off, just exactly the way you see it on the screen. Case matters. So, uh, so you can use 10 off for all your purchases. And I will also put all the information you need about using that code in the description down below. All right. So today I have five different items for you. I have 608, 609, 610, 611, and 612. So let us start with 608 and then we'll move on and do the others later and there's little bits of plastic sticking to stuff all right so 608 is uh, something that i thought was super cute and for those of you who are participating in spring fling 2021 uh, it might be something that you want to consider because Spring Fling 2021 is all about uh, spring and Easter and anything that makes you feel springy. And this one is one that made me feel springy and Eastery when I saw it. So let's take a look at it. Now you guys know I love raccoons. And so when I saw this raccoon, holding an Easter egg, I was decided tulip. I just thought this, you don't get much more spring like than that. And it's happy Eastery and it's just, it's just delightful. And I think this little guy's gonna look great when he's done. Um, so he's got a lot of colors. He's got 30 colors for crying out loud. Holy smokes. I'm used to opening these small diamond paintings that have, you know, 19, maybe 24 colors. This one has 30 colors. That's awesome. Uh, we have the legend in both corners of the uh, canvas. Um, and we have DMC numbers on uh, the canvas. Uh, not on the bags. So, um, so that's okay. As long as it's in one place, I'm happy. And I'm definitely happy with this. Uh, okay, so it came through shipping very well. There's just a little bit of, you know, little mail increases in it. But look how well it flattened out already. So I'm just going to pull back the plastic here because I think that might help it to flatten out a little bit more. I just realized it's been a while since I pulled back the plastic on anything. Okay. Yeah, that's helping. I Sometimes it doesn't help, but sometimes it does. Okay, there we go. So this one won't need any ironing later on, which is which is good. 
So let's talk about the kit. So the kit is a standard kit. It's got, uh, looks like four bags in there. I'll take four bags. I'm happy with four bags. But look at this. Isn't this adorable? I think it's super, super cute. Uh, there is color blocking to this. There is not too much confetti, actually. There's a lot of color blocking. A little tiny bit of confetti. But look at his face. He's so cute. And his paws. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's take a look at the legend. Oh, I didn't measure. Let's measure first. You know, I made, I don't know, over 500, probably approaching 600 of these videos. You'd think I'd know the formula by now. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, 25 by 35. And so uh, since this is a, a spring fling type diamond painting, I think I'm going to put it in my to work on pile. So no penny pick for it. Um, 25 by 35. And they are round drills. Um, yeah, so that I can uh, so that I can post it to the Spring Fling uh, Instagram uh, when that uh, when I start posting to that. I've got two so far that are going to be part of the Spring Fling, um, and I'll put up on the screen for you while we're doing the drills. I'll put up on the screen all the information that I have about Spring Fling. And uh, I would just invite you to join that. And um, yeah, so I, I probably won't be start. Well, I don't know. I'll start this once I finish some of the other projects that I've got uh, in my um, pile of, of stuff to do. Um, let's take a look now at <laughs> the legend. Oh, oh yeah, that looks good. Looking through the camera. Holy smokes, that looks awesome. Beautiful. Okay, even better than just with my eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. So uh, this is just a sequential numbering. And then well, it's not sequential in terms of the alphanumeric category, like the, the numbers and sim or the letters and symbols rather. Uh, trying to get my mouth working. You know, this is an early morning for me. I usually don't wake up until about 10, 10.30, 10 o'clock, 10 10.30, because I usually don't go to bed until 3 in the morning. Um, this morning, when I made my coffee, I have a Keurig coffee maker. And, um, you know, you, you, you put your coffee in, you put your cup underneath, you press a button, and the coffee goes. Uh, yeah, I did everything except I forgot to put the coffee cup underneath. So, so the coffee fell into the reservoir underneath where the cup, you know, that the cup sits on top of. So it didn't make a mess on my counter or anything, thank goodness. But yeah, anyway, uh, so my day is, is just, yeah, it's just starting off a little on the weird side, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just take a look. I wasn't paying attention to whether I like these symbols. Now I'll take a look and see whether I like these symbols. Uh, I'm thinking the H might be a little bit dark. Uh, that might have been better if there was white print on there. Ooh, that C is definitely very, very dark. I would definitely like that to be uh, white. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I'm going to confuse the Q for. Uh, okay, so that uh, those are my concerns. And just before I I look at the canvas, oh, let's blow this up not to two x, just to one x. All right, so I think it'll be legible. I mean, I'm going to work on this on a light pad clearly because of these C's and the H's, but it'll be it'll be legible. Yeah, I'm not going to have too, too much trouble with that. The threes are clear. Those cues are, there's nothing to confuse them with. So I'm okay with that. And yeah, everything else is, 
Everything else is good. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be great to work on. Yeah. I don't see any, any problems here. Yeah, I'd like the C's and the H's to be in white print on the green background and the Q uh, white print on the black background, but I can live with what they've got. Yeah, everything else is very, very clear. Now, I often say I don't like percent signs, but those ones look really clean. So I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I think this is going to be absolutely adorable, and I'm really looking forward to working on it. Oh, my goodness. So cute. So cute. Okay, let's take a look at the drills. Okay, so we're supposed to have 30 colors, and I just checked, and we do. So let's take a look at all these lovely colors and the drills. And for that, I'll blow us up. And, oh, those look nice and flat. Nice and flat and nice and round. And they, they look uh, a good size. Not too big, not too small. So, yeah, this is good. Um, for those of you who are not watching, uh, I'm just putting up on the screen the information about Spring Fling 2021 on the screen, and I'll just have that up for a little while. And um, I would just invite you to participate and contact Cindy through... I can't remember... I can't remember. It was like a couple of months ago that she invited me to join. And um, and I think it's Facebook and Instagram. I'm not sure. It's all on the screen. So you can check there. Okay, these colors are awesome. And the drills look great. Oh, and today I do have some ugly diamond paintings for you. So uh, I will show you those in one of the upcoming drill reviews. These drills look fantastic. And isn't it nice to be looking at spring colors? Just, we're right in the worst part of winter right now. And it's just so good to be looking forward to spring. Today's just a good day. It's just a good day. It's such a good day that since I'm starting this like two or three hours earlier than I would normally start recording a video, I might record or, I, I might record another video today and then maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll edit it and put it up the day after so you'll get uh, videos two days in a row. And I might actually be coming out of the slump that I've been having. We'll see but uh, I might go back to publishing more often. I'm not gonna promise to publish every day, but I'm gonna see about publishing more often if I possibly can. I, I was just, I was tired. I was really tired uh, in December and earlier this year. Oh, this color is amazing. I don't know what color that is. Number 15. 18. Oh, there's a favorite color for you. <gasps> wow. Um, yeah, so I, I, I was just really tired and kind of bummed out. And now I'm feeling a lot more optimistic. I'm just, I'm looking forward to being able to watch the news and having the no news not all be crazy shit. So, yeah. <gasps> all right. Okay, uh, so that looks really good. I'm happy with that. And uh, I think this guy's going to look great. So I'll probably be starting him, I don't know, maybe later this month? I don't know. Uh, definitely in February, maybe in March, just depending. But uh, yeah, I would, I would say this guy is awesome. And... When I got him, he was three pounds ninety nine. I don't know what he what he is now, but um, I think that's a phenomenal price. It might have gone up a little bit since I ordered him, but um, but I think that's a 
a really, really good price for, uh, for a diamond painting this size with this many colors that looks to that gosh darn cute. I keep looking up at the screen to see what's going on, what's going on, because I don't want to miss the swearing in. Mind you, the swearing in is still quite a ways away, but people are starting to arrive at the Capitol, and I don't want to miss, I don't want to miss any of that stuff. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's number 608, the Raccoon and Easter Egg, 25 by 35 round drills from FG Normal, and what a cutie! Oh, I love them. Okay, next up is number 609, and number 609 is one that um, actually Reese, who I deal with at FG Normal, suggested that I try one of their framed diamond paintings because they do have, I don't know how many, eight, 10, something like that, um, diamond paintings that are already framed. So let me just ri raise you up a little bit here so that you can see the whole thing. And we'll take a look at what comes with the kit. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so they actually, make this, like, they put a little handle for the box in, in the kit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it all together, but okay, that's, that's nice. Um, and we get the drill, oh, we get the, uh, we get the legend printed on the back of the canvas, and the canvas is already stapled to what I will tell you right now is an extremely st uh, sturdy frame. Like this is really sturdy. Um, and it's got some sort of a, oh, Pippi, every time she hears a knock, she goes crazy. It's okay, it's okay baby. Pippi, Pippi, it's just me, baby. It's just, it's just me, baby. There's no marauders at the door. It's just me, baby. Okay, um, so there, there's something, I'm not gonna click it again because it'll drive her crazy again, but this here is really uh, thick. So you'll have a super firm surface to be applying your diamonds to. And so the other thing that I'm noticing here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing here is there's a really pretty edge to the diamond painting. So you see how the drills end a little bit before the edge of the frame. So I think that's really, really nice. And then if you wanted, you could just use uh, some, some you know black duct tape or uh, some ribbon or whatever you want if you wanted to cover over that white part. But I, I think the way they did this is it, it's really, really nice. And you actually could just put this up on your wall and you wouldn't have to worry. And if you want to, you can uh, cut the, the strip that has the legend on it off so that you can have it beside you while you diamond paint, if that's the kind of diamond painter you are. I'm not. What I do is I just use the legend uh, to identify the symbols that I mark on the uh, stickers that I use for my drill containers, whether they're bags or uh, anything else. And then I never look at the legend again. But I know some people like to refer to the legend um, all the time when they're diamond painting. So let's measure this. Now it was advertised as 25 by 30. So from one edge of the drill area to the other, it's 24. And from the edge of the frame to the edge of the frame, it's 24 and a half. So I would say that's true to size. Um, I always give them a little bit of leeway and it is 35 inches high uh, from top of frame to bottom of frame, from the top of the drill area to the bottom of the drill area, it's 34. So absolutely true to size. 
how many colors do we have? We've got 25 colors, which is nice. Um, now, one thing, oh, and let's just, I'll show you the kit here. So there's no bags, it's just the kit, but that's fine. This is just a little project. So uh, one thing that I did notice as I was looking at the uh, offerings that they had for their framed diamond paintings, Oh, and I've got this upside down, apparently. Um, yeah. Uh, is that they all look a little pixelated on, on the screen. Uh, and I don't know if you're getting that effect through the camera. Uh, I am getting that effect a little bit uh, with just with my eyes here. And so that was something that kind of had me going, hmm, not sure. But um, I really, really like the quality of the frame. I like quality of all of this stuff. And the colors are going to be spectacular. I have to take a sip of coffee. Uh, the DMC numbers are not marked on the canvas, but they are marked on the bags. So that's good. And so let's now take a look at the legend and then we'll take a look at the uh, canvas itself up close and personal. And I'll also show you, you know, how we'll it's all put together and so forth. So there we have, and I'll just go to 1x. There we have our symbols. I find spades are sometimes difficult to, to make out. Um, I'm working on a diamond painting now that has spades and like circles. And it's actually very difficult to tell the spades from the circles because they're almost the same color print on the canvas. Um, for the rest of these, I find that star a little bit hard to read on that on the um, on the uh, legend as well. And I don't even know what this is inside for number twenty-two. I suspect it's two sort of diamonds attached, um, but that's almost impossible to read. Let's go to 2x and, whoops, let's go to 2x and see if we can read it. Yeah, I hope it's more legible on the canvas itself. Now this here looks like an X, but it's not. Um, and then the star is a little bit hard to read too. So there are some symbols on here that are, are a little bit hard to read on the legend. Let's see what it's like on the canvas because it might be a lot easier on the canvas. And I'm gonna go back to 1X because I don't wanna give you a wrong impression of what this looks like. So everything I'm seeing so far is crystal clear. Yep, this is great. Uh, there we've got those red, the green A's on the on the red background. That's an interesting choice, uh, but uh, but you know you're not going to confuse it with anything else, which is you know what I'm always concerned about. So yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Now as we're getting up into the pinks and the purples, I think that's where we're going to see some of these strange signs. So there is an X, as you see down here. Where's an X? You, there is this X, but there's no way you're going to confuse it with this, which I'm going to call a beaker. Um, there's just no way you're going to confuse it with that. The stars look better on the canvas than they did in the legend. Oh, you see? That wasn't even a spade. It was a club. And that's another reason why I'm not always happy with spades and clubs, because uh, if they appear together, they're harder to read. Uh, but it is clear that the canvas is much easier to read than the legend was, because again, these uh, these purple, the two, um, the two diamonds that are attached, I'll call them bow ties, they're much clearer on the canvas than they were on the legend. So, yeah, no, this is gonna be really easy to work on. Yeah. 
and it's good that I don't need a light pad because you couldn't use a light pad with this because there's that opaque board behind the canvas. So, um, so I'm really glad that they made the canvas extremely legible. That is super, super important. Okay, yeah, I, I'm happy with this. And pulling back, yeah, it looks nice, it looks nice. A little pixelated, I don't like, I personally don't like where you have like strips like this. Um, but but it, it looks nice, and as you pull back, it's, it's nice. Um, and the diamond painting experience on this, I'm sure, is going to be really, really good. So I just want to show you now how they've put it together. So they've got uh, the sturdy wood frame, and then, I don't know what you call this stuff, but it's, it's pretty stiff, and I can't tell how thick it is. I can't tell how thick it is. It's at least a couple of millimeters thick. Um, it's like the stuff that you get on the back of Ikea bookshelves. Um, maybe not quite as thick as that, but it's that kind of material. And then they have lots and lots of staples. And you'll notice that the cover plastic has been stapled down. So I'm just going to warn you, be careful when you're removing the plastic that you don't tear it. Uh, so you might just want to cut around the staples or something like that uh, to make sure that you're not going to uh, tear the plastic in a way that you don't want to tear it. Yeah, because the plastic is stapled down all the way around except here. All right, so that's it. I, I, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to look super cute and it'll be fun to do. And this is another one that I think I might do sooner than later so that I can show you what it looks like uh, since it's something new to me. Oh, the Bidens are arriving at the Capitol ground. Ooh, Jill Biden looks nice. Kamala Harris looks nice too. Uh, okay, so how many colors? 25 colors. So I got 20 colors in the first strip. And I've got five colors in the last strip. So, and they do have, as I say, the DMC numbers on them. So that's good. So let's take a look at the drills. And once again, I think these are really, really nice. Now I am going to flash up on the screen as I'm uh, showing you these drills, uh, the ugly diamond paintings. I don't have that many for you today, but, um, but uh, I do have, I think three maybe four. And so we'll just look at those and I will include um, who they're from, just the first name, and uh, just a little blurb with a few words, either from the person who's, oh, that's pretty. That's 917, I like that. Um, just a few words from the person who sent them to me or my own thoughts on the diamond painting. Um, yeah. I, I tell you, the things that people will diamond paint just blows my mind. But that's part of the wonder of diamond painting is, uh, you know, how much variety there is. Look at that. I, like, I don't wear orange. But look at these beautiful bright colors. All right, I'm gonna love working on this because these colors are just spectacular. Ooh, that's nice. 666, yeah. Um, just spectacular colors. And that's what attracted me to this diamond painting. 
uh, to try the frame diamond paintings. I would try another one um, because yeah, this is this is cool. And you know, the more that people buy these things, the more that they'll put out because once they see that something takes off, it's like notebooks. You know, when when notebooks first came out, there weren't that many notebooks that you could choose from. But now, look at all the notebooks and keychains and all of that stuff. So if you want there to be more selection of framed diamond paintings, pre-framed diamond paintings going forward, you've got to buy the ones that are out there now because that's how stores know that it's a popular item. Okay, so um, I am now going to put away the drills and I will be back in a minute. Okay. So um, there you go. That is number 609, Seaside Scenery with Frame, 25 by 35 round drills from FG Normal. I am going to put this back in the box. And I did put the handle on the box because why not? And so that's how I'm going to store this. And there we go. Whoops. Handle came out of the box. I just got to get that in there nice and flat. on we'll do it there we go now there's a nice sturdy handle on the box uh and you know what this box is one that i'm going to keep because this will make an excellent carrying case for diamond paintings when i'm traveling it's just a little tiny thing but it's got the box uh what i would do is tape the one of the sides closed so that um, you know drills and stuff little any little things that you've got in there don't fall out but you'd be able to put a few diamond painting kits in one of these and you've got a beautiful storage box uh, or carrying case uh, for for travel that doesn't take up very much space and if you wanted to you could cover it uh, with I don't know, wallpaper, gift wrap, whatever, something to make it look nicer um, on the outside. I mean, you could even use spare diamonds to decorate it. Um, or glue, glue diamond paintings on the front and back of it. Hey, wouldn't that be a great idea? Yeah, so definitely I'm gonna keep this box. I love the box, the box is great. Okay. Um, so that's number 609. Let's go to 610. What's 610? Okay, so what's this tape here? I don't know what that is. It, this, the bag's not pretty open, so it's all good. All right. Pippi, I don't know what you're excited about. Oh, maybe there, oh, she hears the vacuum cleaner out in the hallway. Okay, so let's take a look at 610. This is one that I thought was really, really pretty. I call it beauty number four. So it is a diamond painting of a girl. And this one has a lot of orange to it. There's something I like about orange on a diamond painting. It's just so bright and happy. Poor Pippi. Okay, I gotta show you Pippi. She hides underneath blankets. That's what she likes to do. And she just pulled her pulled her nose out now to look at whatever it is, to look for whatever it is that's making noise out in the hall. Um, but she's not, not running to the hall, which is good, because if she were running out to the hall, I'd have to stop recording while she barked, but she's not. So she's being a very good girl. You're a good girl, Pippi. All right. So there's the thumbnail. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. She's off the couch and running down the hall. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's done. That's only because the vacuum cleaning is done. All right. I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. So this is what I call beauty number four. Um, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty. I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Um, but I'm hopeful that it'll turn out. Um, you'll see the, 
the image from the website uh, on the screen. And uh, I mean, you'll see she's got the beautiful freckles and all of that. And I really hope that that comes through in the finished diamond painting. I'm just gonna take a look to see what you can see. I'm not sure if, well, I think it might. I think it might turn out pretty well. Okay, so this one has 20 colors and uh, they look, I think the, just looking at the, the legend, which I will show you in just a moment, uh, this is gonna be super easy to do and you won't need a light pad for it. But let's measure first. It is 34 by 24. There we go. Uh, yeah, 34 by 24, that's good. Um, let's take a look at the legend. So, see how clear all of that is? It's got the DMC numbers. Let's take a look at the canvas itself. This is super clear. So, uh, however it turns out, it's going to be fantastic to work on. Now, there's a butterfly, which you'll be able to, to tell that butterfly is there when you're finished. Um, yeah, from a distance, maybe the freckles don't really come out that well, um, which is too bad. But I'm still hopeful that it'll be, that it'll be a, a good a good finished product. It is super easy to read all of this stuff. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, see, I mean, we've got the, the G's and the Q's mixed in here, and I think that's going to give that freckled effect. At least I hope it will. Just depends on what color the G's and the Q's are. I just realized it was pulled way too far out. So there's a little bit of color blocking. Well, quite a bit of color blocking with all these S's here. Um, I think this one will go fast. I just, I like it. I like the colors. I like the, the picture of the girl. I think it's really pretty. <gasps> Okie doke. So, uh, I haven't shown you the kit yet. So here is the kit, just a simple one, and here are the drills. And I love the fact that the drills are already in baggies. So what that means is that I'll just write the symbol on the stickers and uh, I'll be ready to go. I won't have to do any kidding up at all. And even though I'm never going to be able to put those back in the bag as well as they were uh, before, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm looking for 20 colors. Let's just count the bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, Hmm, did I miss one? Hold on. All right, I gotta put these in order because I'm, I think I might have missed one. So I am going to uh, stop recording while I put these in order and I'll just let you know whether I've got all the colors. Okay, so uh, I do have all of the colors that I needed. I just missed counting one of those bags. And uh, what am I looking for? G and Q. So G is number 13. And Q is number 18. And those are the, those are the two tones that are gonna make the most of the skin and the flesh. And then the rest of it is 
number seven. So, oh yeah, I think we're gonna get a nice freckle effect um, from, like this is clearly gonna be the freckle. Um, I think we're gonna get a nice freckling effect on this diamond painting from these colors. You don't see the difference in colors that much on the canvas when you look at the G's and the Q's. Let's zoom so that you can see that better. Um, and yeah, you don't get uh, quite the same effect as when you see the three, the three different tones here. I think, I think we are gonna get the freckle effect. Okay, so let's take a look at these colors and the drills. And that up. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that all the bags are nicely closed. Beautiful, beautiful drills here. Wow. Yeah, I like I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing very, very much. Oh, there's Bill and Hillary coming in. I think I'm gonna stop recording after. Uh, this here, uh, just so that I can watch the pomp and circumstance. I missed, like I had CNN on, uh, but I was recording a video when the Capitol was uh, siege, like when they when they when they had the siege at the Capitol, the the insurrection, and so I completely missed what was going on. When I finished recording my video, I looked up. And, and it's like, what the heck is going on? I don't want to miss today. So I will, uh, I will take a pause after showing you these drills so that I can uh, watch the show. And then I'll start recording again um, after they've finished the swearing in and the speech and all that. Yeah, these are beautiful, beautiful drills. And I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't usually talk about what's going on, not usually, um, when I'm recording videos because I know you're not going to see it until at least the next day. Uh, and, you know, by then it's going to be old news, but just today is, is special. I don't know why I care so much, but, you know, this is a big deal. This is a big deal, and it's it's something to celebrate, and it's something to remark on. Never in my life have I watched an American inauguration before. It's like, what do I care about an American inauguration? For those of you who don't know, I live in Canada. Um, but this one, I want to watch every minute. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop recording now, and I'm going to watch the inauguration, and then I'll come back, and I'll do the next, uh, the last two unboxings. Just a sec. I just finished watching the inauguration ceremony and I'll tell you, I was brought to tears many times. That poet laureate, Amanda Gorman, I think her name is. Wow, she is something else, something else. She was just amazing. Um, anyway, I am a little bit emotional still and I'm just so hopeful for the United States. And I think we're in a safer world now than we were yesterday. Okay, so that was it for number 610, beauty number four. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to working on it. Just wanna stick this sticker on here really well. Okay, so next up is number 611. And number 611 is beauty number five. And this is, um, this is one that I normally don't even think to get this. This is one of a series, and I generally don't love them. But when I saw this one, I thought, oh, I think I might like this one. And I think I wanna, I wanna try this one. So, and you'll see why in a minute. Because she's a younger, prettier version of me. <laughs> uh, you know, with the gray hair and she's kind of round. Uh, she's voluptuous. 
And, uh, and I thought, you know what, if I'm going to get one of these, what I call big girl pictures, uh, I want to get this one and try it out. And so that's what I did. And my first impression of it is it's really nice. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Uh, this is one of those diamond paintings that I've talked to you about before where they print the image on the canvas and they just put little circles with the color of the drill where you place the drill itself. And so what you see behind the drill are all of the lines and everything that were in the original art. And so, um, so I think this is going to be spectacular when it's done. Uh, I love it. I just love it. I hadn't expected to love it as much as I do. Um, but that's always the case with these ones that are printed in this way. I always end up loving them way more than I thought I would. So let's take a look. Let's measure to see how big it is. And it is 25 centimeters by just shy of 35 centimeters. So 25 by 35. And there are 20 colors to it. And DMC numbers are marked both on the bags and on the legend. So, um, so I'm happy about that. I always like it when the DMC numbers are marked on. And these are round drills. There we go. Okay. So let's take a look at the legend and then we'll take a look at the drill area. Let me just go up to 1x for this. Oh, so far, so good. All right, this looks like a fantastic legend. There is nothing here that is even a little tiny bit confusing. Nothing. So let's move to the drill area. And yeah. Yeah, no, this is going to look, this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. This is going to be great to work on too. And even though it's got a lot of dark colors, I could work on this without a light pad because they did such a good job uh, creating the legend. That's fantastic. And look at her face. I mean, even close up, it's so clear. And that's because the, the original art is behind the drills. And so you get all of the detail that you would miss if it was just squares of color on the, uh, on the canvas. This is going to be gorgeous. I really love it. I love it. I love her. I used to have a dress just like that too. <laughs> so, so it it reminds me of it reminds me of me in many ways. Except she's way younger and prettier than I am. Okay, so uh, let's take a look now at the kit, which is just a standard kit, no bags. That's okay. And we'll take a look at the drills. I'll just get them ready, and then we will look at them together. So let's take a look at them. And again, these are just beautiful. And even though in this video I don't have anything about the Rose Tries program, I'm going to put the information about the Rose Tries program up on the screen. So what that is, for those of you who are new to my channel, is I will try a diamond painting for you. Now, right now, I'm working with the uh, companies that are listed at the bottom of your screen. If you find a diamond painting on any of those, uh, in any of those stores that you're interested in buying, but you're just not sure about something, maybe you think it might be too pixelated, maybe you think, you know, you're not sure if it's going to be clear, you're not sure if uh, it's going to be easy to read the symbols, um, it could be pretty much any reason. Uh, let me know, send me a link to the diamond painting, and 
and um, I will check it out and I'll let you know whether I'll order it for you or not and then I'll do a detailed review just like the one that you're seeing right now and I'll show you absolutely everything about the diamond painting and hopefully that will help you decide whether you want to buy it. Now yesterday I just placed an order for probably about eight or ten rose tries that I've uh, received uh, over the last few weeks and um, so I'm hoping that those will uh, will come in fairly soon and I'll be able to show you a whole bunch more rose tries and in the coming days as well I have a lot of rose tries that are um, coming up now the other thing I wanted to tell you about is project of the month so um, every month and I'm this starts in March, but I picked the project for March uh, at the beginning of January. I want to give people two months to order a diamond painting and get it into stock uh, at home. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I took this idea from my sister whose um, cross-stitching group would get together and go on retreats. Uh, once or twice a year and for her the retreats were like the best thing in the whole wide world she lived for these retreats and you know with COVID it's going to be probably let's be honest at least a year well probably a year before we'll be able to schedule any retreats but that shouldn't stop us from working on projects together and so what the project of the month does is it it's a project that I pick at random from my stash of diamond paintings so I have a bowl uh, two bowls that I keep all of um, that I keep coins in and each coin is uh, numbered with one of the inventory numbers from my diamond paintings. so for example I'll show you my large project bowl so this here is the bowl where I keep the uh, coins that are numbered with all of my projects that are bigger than 30 by 40 centimeters. And uh, so what I'll, what I, the way I choose the next project to work on is when I finish a project, I reach into the bowl, I pick a coin, and I work on whatever number is on that coin. Uh, for the project of the month, and I have another bowl just like this, uh, for my smaller projects, 30 by 40 and less, and all of my partials. And so for my project of the month, what I'll be doing is I'll be picking a coin from the large bowl at random at the, for the, at, in the first video of every month, and then I will... Um, if, if that's not one that is available in multiple sizes, then I'll also pick a small diamond painting uh, from my bowl of small diamond painting coins. And so that'll be the project for the month two months out. So at the beginning of January, I picked the project for the month, for the month of March. And I'm just going to put it up on the screen. So here is the picture for the month of March. It is available in multiple sizes and I got it at Spell Queen and you can find the link to it down below. You can also find the links to all of the diamond paintings that I've unbagged today down below. Uh, and so for the project of the month, it's something that we can all work on together and anybody who's working on it, I encourage you to send me pictures and um, you can send me pictures of you unboxing the diamond painting or you with the diamond painting, whether it's unboxed or in progress or uh, finished. And so over the course of the month, I'll be showing pictures of, I'll be showing those pictures that I received in the videos that I make for the month. So, um, I think that's a way that, you know, while we can't actually get together, we can be working together on a common project. And um, so I'm really looking forward to, 
to working on the project of the month with as many of you as want to uh, participate. And one of my viewers said, well, I don't have that picture, but I do have another picture of a bear that I'd like to work on. And it's like, that's cool. Um, if you have another, if you have another project that's similar to, um, or that, you know, in your mind is of the same theme, because I'm not going to judge what's in your mind. Uh, but if you've got another project that's the same theme or the same subject, but it's just not the same diamond painting exactly, that's cool. The whole idea of project of the month is that we're all working on something together and just being more of a community and sharing and stuff. So, um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, participation from my viewers and subscribers in the project of the month going forward. Okay, so we're down to our last diamond painting for today, and that is number 612. And 612 is one that I just thought was kind of cute. And I really wanted to try it out because I thought this is one that could turn out really, really well. And if that's the case, then I would want to share it with you all so that you could try it out. So I call this one Blue and Red Elephants. And it is a round drill kit. Um, and it's advertised as 30 by 40, as you see on the canvas here. Oh, the canvas is uh, thinner than the canvases that we've seen from uh, other, from on the other diamond paintings that we've uh, looked at today. Uh, but that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. I don't care about thick canvases or thin canvases, as far as I'm concerned. As long as there's, <laughs> as long as there's a diamond painting to be done. I don't care what kind of canvas it's on. I know some people, you know, they only like working on certain kinds of canvases and stuff. Not me. I'm not fussy about that. I just like diamond painting. The most important thing to me is that the canvas be clear and that um, the diamonds be good. Now this one here, uh, it does retain a little bit of wrinkles. So this is one that before I actually drill it, I'll be ironing it. And I have a bunch of ironing videos out. So uh, if you just check ironing on my channel, just do a um, search for ironing. Uh, you'll get a few diamond paintings where I iron, uh, where I iron um, my diamond paintings so that you can see how I go about doing it. Okay, so this one has 18 colors, and you know what? Again, I think that 18 colors is sufficient for the subject. Uh, in some cases, you need a lot more colors, but in this case, I don't think you do. I think in this case, uh, 18 colors is all you need to get a good, um, good representation of the original image here. So let's measure it and see what the actual dimensions are and I do that like I do the measuring mostly so that you know what size frame to buy if you're interested in buying a frame so across it's 24 and up and down it's 34 okay let's see what kind of kit we get we get a standard kit no bags that's okay I've got lots of bags but I'm always happy to get more bags and in this kit you don't need bags because it already comes in bags I'm sure I've said it, but I'm gonna say it again. I love it when they come pre-bagged like this in Ziploc bags. It means I can just start diamond painting. I don't have to do any kidding up. So uh, we'll take a look at these in just a minute. But right now, what we're gonna do is take a look at the legend. So let's go to 1X and it looks good to me. Nice and clear. Light colors have black print. Dark colors have light print. I'm happy to see that. And then we'll just take a look at the drill area. 
And again, this is in 1x, so it's the size that you would see it in. This is super clear. I would not need a light pad to work on this, which is good because um, often I work on small diamond paintings over top of a larger diamond painting that I've got on the go. And so um, I don't have to move my light pad around, uh, you know, pull it out from underneath the big diamond painting when I'm working on a diamond painting that's, you know, so clearly charted. So yeah, this is good. There's nothing that's going to be confusing here at all. Um, yeah, this is really, really excellent charting. And this one, compared to the last one, I'm just going to show you the difference. So this one here, it's completely made up of blocks of color. You see how even though it's round drills, it's just squares of color that make up the image. Whereas on this one here, you've got the, the circles of color, but behind them you've got the color that, uh, that I'll say belongs there. So here, even though you've got, you know, the D's and the W's, and in some cases you've got two D's together, um, you see how there's that line that's printed behind? And that is what gives the completed image from behind. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to tell that, you know, the arm of the chair was here, that it was curved, because you wouldn't see that line that's drawn on there because that line is too thin to be made up of a particular drill or here the same thing but as you pull back even though there will be drills on top you still see that a diamond painting like the elephants on the other hand uh, depends completely on the way that the drills are placed on the canvas and that works really well for a lot of diamond paintings and it works really well for this diamond painting. Um, they could get away with it. Other diamond paintings, meh, maybe not so much. The only place, like here, it depends on what two colors these are here, but maybe there will be a little bit of lack of definition around that elephant's ear. But when you pull back from it, it's going to look just fine. So. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. In fact, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I like it. So we're going to look now at the drills. And first I'm just going to count them to make sure I've got them all. And then we will um, take a close-up look. Okay, so I've got all the colors I need. And now we'll just take a look at them. Uh, so these look so far so good beautiful beautiful colors that we've got here I must say and the DMC numbers are marked on both the canvas and the bags of course and I'm seeing some colors that I don't often see like 606 I, I don't know how many of those I've had and 947 not sure how many of those I've had um, so it's nice to be working with colors that I don't get all that often. These look like really good drills. Yeah, super happy with these drills. Very good. Tiny little piece of trash there. But that's okay, there's always going to be some trash. What you don't want are bad drills. And I'm not seeing bad drills. Now, there will inevitably be bad drills because there's always some, but I'm not seeing them, you know, jumping out at me as I'm looking through this. So that helps me to feel confident that this will be a fun one to do. So I am looking forward to it. Oh, look at this minty green. And there we go. Okay, so that all looks fantastic. So that's number 612, the blue and red elephants. And um, yeah, looks great. So let's take one last look at all of the diamond paintings that uh, I opened today. So we've got 
the blue and red elephants. We've got number 611, which I call beauty number five. I think that one's going to turn out really well. We've got 610, which I call beauty number four. I'm not sure about this one. I think it would have turned out better if it were done in the same uh, printing style as this, but I am hopeful. And then we have number 608, which is this adorable raccoon with the Easter egg. And finally, I'll just take it out of the box. We have the seaside scenery, number 609. Uh, which is uh, already comes pre-mounted on a frame. So again, I think this will be really interesting to do and I will do this, um, I'll do this one as soon as possible, like, you know, within the next few weeks, uh, just so I can come back and show you what it looks like. Because again, if you want to buy diamond paintings that are pre-framed, you have to start buying the ones that are out there. Even if they're not, you know, the ones that you absolutely love, you got to try some of them because that's the way that companies know that there's a demand and then they'll bring out more designs. So, uh, so I encourage you to check out what there is and, um, and buy the ones that, uh, that you like the best. And these are being offered by multiple stores, but I know that FG Normal has uh, quite a good uh, stock. They have, I don't know, five or six or ten. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I looked at them. So that's it, everybody. That's today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you will consider joining me and so many of my viewers who have already ordered and many of them have told me they've received the bear in the meadow that's going to be the project of the month for march that we'll all work on together and that i'll show your progress on and send me your requests through the rose tries program for me to try diamond paintings for you from any of the stores. They're also listed down in the description below. Uh, all of the information about how to um, make a Rose Tries request. I also love to get the ugly diamond paintings that you come across when you're um, shopping for diamond paintings. So send me links. Uh, two ugly diamond paintings or an ugly diamond painting can be one that you have started and that it, that's terrible in whatever way. So it doesn't have to just come from a website. It can, it can be a diamond painting that turned out to be a fail uh, from your own uh, stash. So uh, I would love to uh, showcase those for you because we all get a laugh out of those and they're fun. And who doesn't want to have fun? Uh, so you just send that to the same address as, um, as the Rose Tries requests. Uh, just put ugly DP or ugly diamond painting in the subject line so that I know how to file it and so forth. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. I want to thank all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and then click the bell for notification, and you will get notified every time I post a new video. And finally, I would like to thank my patrons who support my channel, and Reese at FG Normal, because he has just been so fantastic to work with. And again, I want to remind you, Reese has created a special code, ROSE10OFF, for my viewers. So you can go to FG Normal and buy, create your, your order, and don't forget to include that code. And the code will also be down in the description below, along with any special details about it, uh, if there are any. Um, so... That's it. I'll be back with you again very soon. 
with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye for now.